eggs, egg whites, they're optional, you could just use more eggs if you wanted to. I'm using quark, but you can use natural yogurt, skier, or cottage cheese even. I know that might sound kind of weird, but just don't worry about it, you're not going to actually taste cottage cheese in your pancakes. Uh, oats, if you have a blender, or if you don't, you can just use flour, or if you just can't be bothered blending, you can use flour. And flour will also like, give your pancakes a more even colour, so it'll be kind of more aesthetic. So you know, if you're posting them on Instagram, maybe just use plain white flour or self-raising flour will also work fine. Uh, whey protein powder or just any protein powder or none really because they'll be fairly high protein anyway because of your eggs and quark slash cottage cheese uh, bicarb or bacon powder just to help with the thickness and then some almond milk or any other kind of milk and then finally whatever you want to put on top of them so i'm going to go with maple syrup and blueberries then basically right pay attention because this method is a uh, complex right what you do you just mix everything together so i'm going to use a blender but you can use a whisk if you really like manual labor or you can just like put it in a bowl and use a stick blender whatever you want right just got to work with the tools you've got right i typically just wing the amounts and then aim for like a decent consistency but i'll put some actual amounts on the screen if you're not that kind of confident slash reckless in your pancake escapades So once it was done, I replaced the lid with one that I can just pour straight out of because I want to have like tight control over how much batter is going into the pan so that my pancakes can be like fairly uniform and hopefully it will encourage everyone to like my YouTube video. So if your consistency is a bit thin, you can just add more oats or flour and re-blend um, or vice versa if it's too thick. It's not, it's not too thick, mate. There's no such thing. So yeah, just fry your pancakes. I prefer frying in butter, but you can use whatever you like. And I also pressed some blueberries into the pancakes as they were frying. Then just stack them up and knock them down, man. Hit them with that berry and maple syrup combo, or whichever is your chosen combination. Just a final tip, like, be careful not to overcook your pancakes. Like, once they have the turgidity, is that a word? Once they're, like, you know, physically robust enough to flip, flip. Like, don't think, like, oh, shit, I gotta, like, let shit cook and that. Nah, just, just flip it as soon as it can be flipped. All right, we're gonna make an epic breakfast bagel. So, you're gonna need a bagel, some bacon or turkey bacon, Cheese, I went with mature cheddar, but you can just get those little like peasanty cheese slices if you like peasant stuff. Uh, avocado and finally some butter. Yeah, I'm actually relatively self-conscious about how I pronounce butter. Anyway, I'm going to slice this avocado, but in hindsight, it would have been better to mash it. I will elaborate on that later, so just like stick with me, right? So I'm going to stick that turkey bacon under the grill, and then I'm going to get two frying pans out. So one is for the egg, one is for the bagel. So instead of toasting this bagel, which is an option, right, I'm actually just going to like butter it and then kind of fry it. So as you would do with like a toasted sandwich, right? Again, I have some butter in the other pan, and then I'm using this pastry cutter ring thing for my egg because I want it to fit nicely on the bagel right I don't want it like slapping everywhere so you gotta have that uniformity haven't you so bagel halves go in as does the egg and then I'm gonna cover that egg so the top cooks without having to actually flip it and risk the yolk crack so you gotta keep checking that bagel and when it's done just remove it lay on your slice of cheese now stick with me here because I'm gonna show you where I went wrong with this assembly process right I went cheese bacon egg then avocado on top of the egg right and this is the finished product right so so it looks fine yeah could have got away with it no it's not fine right because this avocado for a start was squirming everywhere as if it was like trying to escape that's what happens when you put avocado chunks on top of an egg right eggs are pretty slippy right you know what i mean you don't learn that from mario kart you just think it's banana skins don't you eggs are slippy as well right then I went for the cross section, this is what I saw, right? Now you might, again, think, oh, that's fine, you know, carry on, hit me with the next breakfast idea, but we're aiming for fine, do you know what I mean? That's not how we do things, right? And I'm blaming this non-runny yoke on the fact that I was running around, like, moving a camera and a tripod, trying to juggle filming stuff with actually making the thing, so, anyway, I told myself that wasn't the person I was gonna be. I had a higher, you know, standard for myself, so went back the following day, and I made this. Now, you immediately notice that I went cheese, bacon, avocado, then egg, much better assembly choice there. I actually went one better and cooked two eggs this time. So let me just show you this cross section, hopefully redeem myself. All right, I'll just collect all of your likes now, please. Yeah, I'll just take them in now.
All right, finally, we're going to make some peanut butter and protein oat bars. So this is not one for the faint of heart or for those currently dieting. So step outside if you are not prepared to see me putting 100 grams of peanut butter into a single recipe, right? So for this one, you're going to need some protein powder of your choice, some oats. I'm using porridge oats. You can use rolled oats if you prefer. Uh, a lot of peanut butter, some almonds, which are optional, some sultanas or other dried fruit dates actually would have been ideal, so if you have those, go with those, and then some maple syrup or honey. So first, blend together the oats and the protein powder. I used 200 grams of oats and 100 grams of protein powder. Don't worry, I'm not eating this all at once, right? So then you're basically just gonna add everything else. I used just over 100 grams of peanut butter, 50 grams of sultanas, and then a couple of healthy glugs, or unhealthy glugs of maple syrup. Then just give it a few pulses until it's all mixed well. You might have to take it off and scrape some of the mixture down from the sides a couple of times. Mine was a little bit dry, so I added a drop of water and also a drop of almond milk. You want a consistency that's kind of like cookie dough, although it might feel a little bit more sticky because of the whey and the sultanas. Then just pack it down into a dish on some greaseproof paper. Try and pack it pretty tightly if you want a dense, chewy bar. And then finally, chop your almonds up and sprinkle those on top. Then you can just chuck it in the freezer. I would give it a good half an hour. If it's a bit too sticky when you take it out, then just put it back in for a bit. Eventually, you should be able to chop it up into bars without it sticking to itself too much. So I would say keep these in the freezer. It really depends on like how sticky slash wet slash dry you made them right mine, mine were like a little bit on the wet side to be honest but if they are like super moist and sticky i would keep them 